work with me everyone. The only way to access data on a broken iPhone is first of all, we're going to see if Siri works. And if it does work, there is a good chance that you'll be able to pull this off. So we're gonna press and hold the power button on an iPhone without the home button, or press and hold the home button if you have one. And we're gonna ask Siri to turn on voiceover. Turn on voiceover. Okay, I turned voiceover on. And uh, with the voiceover, as long as a tiny part of your touchscreen works, you have got good news, you'll be able to pull this off. So to exit this screen, just click the power button until you're brought back to the lock screen, or click the home button instead. And so we need to click the home button until brought to either the passcode screen. And if we don't have a home button, this is the one part which has to work. So you need a little bit of the bottom of the touchscreen to work because we need to slide up and hold and then release. So let's try that again. There we go. If you got to the passcode screen, congratulations, you are 100% going to be able to pull this off. So you just need to find an area of the touchscreen which works and just do these little swipes to the right or left. And you can see we can switch between each uh, area of the lock screen, okay? And the reason why this is useful is let's say you can't unlock because this area of the touch screen is broken. Well, if this area works, you can slide across and when you want to select something, double tap. So we're gonna double tap. And so now we can unlock the iPhone. So if your touch screen is broken, we now unlock the phone. And what that means is we can now connect it to the computer because we've unlocked it. Let's do that now. And once we are connected, if it asks to trust, you will just swipe across and then tap on the trust. I'll show you how that looks like. Computer. So you can see we have the trust pop up and you just slide trust across settings. Trust. and then we'll double tap here. Okay, so you just slide across until the menu you want is selected and then double tap, all right? So we'll go 5813. And once you've trusted connection to the computer, we can back up the phone on the computer if you would like to. So let's get that one done now. On the computer, we will need to, with a Windows computer only, we will need to download iTunes. And so just go to this uh, Apple website here. If I forget to put it in the description, you will need to type it out. And you just want to either download the Microsoft Store version, but what I recommend is you see where it says looking for other versions, click on Windows and then download iTunes right here. On Mac, iTunes is in the Finder app, so open either Finder or iTunes. Find your iPhone, we'll just trust the connection. Again, if you need to, you know, enter in your passcode for the trust to work, then guess what? We already know how to do that with the earlier instructions. It does seem like I actually need to trust again. Once the device is trusted, we are now in. Ignore this sync, it's not gonna actually back up your device. Instead, find here, back up now, and congratulations, you have now backed up your phone. Do note, you will need to enter in the passcode one more time, so just use the voiceover trick to you know, actually enter in your passcode. And if this video did help you out, please, uh, please do drop a like. I don't think there's any videos like this on YouTube. You can leave a comment if it works. Uh, if this doesn't work, unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do. Bye-bye.